Should she go to hell? Or should she go to heaven? He said she's going to heaven. How can that be true if she committed suicide? Just because, if she stabbed herself, she would be a fault. But if the knife stabbed her, the knife would be a fault. If she wasn't a girl, she would be cast to hell like the rest of them. It's sad he treats the rich better. Come on now, row. But all I ever do is to row. Why don't you row? I'll row if you can answer my riddle. What is he? that built stronger than either the mason, shipwright, or the carpenter. Hmm, this was a hard one. Oh, the gallows maker. His frame outlives a thousand souls. Funny, wrong, but funny. The answer is the grave digger, for his houses last until end of time. Now, row. Come on, baby, don't fear the reaper. Come and take my head. Don't Listen to him sing. How can he be so senseless to death? Perhaps he's gotten used to it. Hmm, perhaps. Excuse me, what are you doing? I'm ferrying souls. Well, whose soul is this? Mine, as I'm holding it. Surely the soul can't be yours if you stand here before me. One can possess more than one soul. Well, then who else owns this soul? This soul belongs to no man. A woman, then? <laughs> Alas, no. To whom does it belong, then? To one that used to be a woman, but now is not more than a pile of bones. Since when did death become so literal? You know, I've been noticing for quite some time now that those demons have become ever more witty and clever. They began to pester us from heaven with snide little remarks. Tell me this. How long do souls usually spend in your boat? Well, it depends on the person, really. It's usually a long time. Longer if you're a tenor. Why longer? Because I don't like them. Well, how long has this soul been here? Oh, I don't even know. I'm pretty bad with numbers. Um, it belonged to an entertainer, banished from heaven. His name was Quigley. Oh, poor Quigley. I used to know him. Oh, he was a really funny man. With an imagination that knew no bounds. Oh, how terrible to see you here now. Oh, I remember how you used to make the halls of heaven itself light up with laughter. But now... Nothing. Just a soul locked away in isolation on this infernal boat. Can I ask you a question? What is it? Do you think everyone, no matter their greatness, has but the same small soul? Sure, exactly as we see here, I should think. And what if we took these souls and made a tower? Could it be possible that those great in life could wind up at the bottom? while well, those lowest of wretches in society reside at the top. I think you're overthinking this, just a little bit. Or just listen to me, it makes sense, you know. A king in life is untouchable, but in death is no more than the next man. And a leper, cast out in life, is reunited amongst his peers in death as an equal. As much as I enjoy this philosophy session, I have a schedule to keep. I have to speak to one of the lords about this particular soul. Now, if you excuse me, I have to leave. Shall we stay and watch just in case? We shall. We shall. This doesn't work as a camera.